हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग दी वर्कबुक सॉल्यूशन फॉर साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड एट चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोस सो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद दी एम फर्स्ट वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ फॉजिल फ्यूल इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर सी वुड सेकेंड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन इन एग्जॉस्टिबल फ्यूल इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ए नेचुरल गैस third what is the use of bitumen it's option number d for road surfacing fourth which is an almost pure form of carbon it's option number a coke fifth what is the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal known as it's option number a carbonization sixth which of the following is used for manufacture of steel it's option number c coke seventh Which of the following is known as black gold? Its option number B, petroleum. Eight. Which of the following is not obtained during refining of petroleum? Its option number D, natural gas. Now we'll continue with question number two. That is fill in the blanks. First one. Fossil fuels are coal, petroleum, and natural gas. Second. Process of separation of different constituents of petroleum is called refining of petroleum. third least polluting fuel for vehicle is cng fourth forests and wild animals are exhaustible natural resources fifth the substances formed from natural gas and petroleum are called petrochemicals sixth bitumen the constituent of petroleum is used for road surfacing seventh petroleum is very important and due to its great commercial importance is called black gold eight the world's first oil well was drilled in pennsylvania usa now we'll continue with question number 3 that is answer the following in one word first one state the name of petroleum product used as a fuel for heavy motor vehicles like trucks it is diesel second state a name of an exhaustible natural resource it is sunlight and air third what are the fuels formed from the dead remains of living organisms called it is fossil fuels fourth which product of coal is used in the extraction of many metals it is coke fifth what is the main component in cng it is natural gas Now we'll continue with question number four. That is true or false. First one, CNG is more polluting fuel than petrol. It is false. Second, coke is an almost pure form of carbon. It is true. Third, coal tar is a mixture of various substances. It is true. Fourth, kerosene is not a fossil fuel. It is false. Fifth. exhaustible natural resources cannot be over by human activities it is false sixth fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources it is true seventh naphthalene balls are made from coke it is true eighth kerosene is used as a fuel in jet aircrafts it is true now we'll continue with question number 5 that is answer the following questions in one sentence first one from what are natural resources like coal and petroleum formed natural resources like coal and petroleum were formed from the dead remains of living organisms second what is carbonization the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization third what are the substances produced from coal so coke coal tar and coal gas are produced from coal fourth what is the use of coal gas coal gas is used as a fuel in many industries fifth what is fossil fuel the fuels formed by the remains of dead plants and animals are called fossil fuels sixth state the full form of cng the full form of cng is compressed natural gas Seventh, state the full form of LPG. The full form of LPG is liquefied petroleum gas. Eighth, what are petrochemicals? 
those chemicals which are obtained from petroleum and natural gas are called petrochemicals now we'll continue with question number 6 that is answer the following questions in short first one what are inexhaustible and exhaustible natural resources give examples of each the resources which are present in unlimited quantity in nature and are not likely to be exhaustible by human activities are called inexhaustible natural resources for example air clay sunlight etc and the resources which are present in limited quantity in nature and can be exhaustible by human activities are called exhaustible natural resources for example forests wildlife minerals etc second one describe how coal is formed from dead vegetation what is this process called about 300 million years ago the earth had dense forests in low lying wetland areas due to various natural calamities like floods and earthquakes these forests got buried under the soil layer by layers of soil got deposited over them and they were compressed under high temperature and pressure the plants got converted to coal slowly this process is called carbonization third one describe the characteristics and uses of coke so characteristics of coke are first one coke is tough second it is porous and black in color third it is almost the pure form of carbon fourth coke does not produce smoke while it is burning and uses of cokes are first one in manufacture of steel and second in the extraction of many metals fourth question what are advantages of using cng and lpg as a fuel the advantages of using cng and lpg as fuels are first one cng and lpg are clean fuels second they produce less pollution third cng is used to produce electricity fourth they can be used directly for burning and fifth their cost is low fifth one describe the process of formation of petroleum petroleum is formed from organisms living in the sea as the organisms die their bodies settles at the bottom of the sea these bodies gets covered with layers of sand and clay over millions of years in the absence of air and under high pressure and temperature these dead remains get converted into petroleum and natural gas sixth question what is refining of petroleum state the constituents of petroleum uh, the process of separating the various constituents of petroleum is known as refining of petroleum constituents of petroleum are lpg petrol kerosene diesel lubricating oil paraffin wax bitumen etc seventh question describe characteristics and uses of coal tar characteristics of coal tar are first one it is black thick liquid second it has an unpleasant smell third it is a mixture of about 200 organic substances and uses of coal tar are first one it is used as starting materials for manufacturing various substances used in everyday life second manufacturing of dyes drugs explosives and third in perfumes eighth one what are the harmful effects of using fossil fuels so the harmful effects of using fossil fuels are first one it causes global warming because they produce greenhouse gas like carbon dioxide on burning second burning of fossil fuels causes air pollution during the burning of coal it produces gases like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen these gases mix with water during rain called acid rain which pollute the land fourth due to incomplete combustion of fossil fuels carbon particles spread in air causing respiratory diseases in humans ninth question 
what should be done to conserve petrol and diesel so following steps should be taken to conserve petrol and diesel first one do not use petrol or diesel vehicles in a place of walking distance second drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible third switch off the engine of the vehicle at a traffic light or at a place where you have to wait fourth use public vehicle instead of a private vehicle for going to long distances and fifth ensure regular maintenance of the vehicle now we'll continue with question number 7 that is explain giving scientific reasons first one the fuels like petrol and diesel should be used judiciously petrol and diesel are obtained from petroleum petroleum is an exhaustible natural resource the formation of petroleum takes millions of years the amount of petroleum uh, these resources in nature are limited these fuels will be exhausted fast due to their reckless and thoughtless use and transport will be affected badly the next generation will not have to face the darkness due to uh, due to its economical and prudent use second one petroleum is called black gold many useful substances are obtained from petroleum these are used in the manufacture of detergents fibers lubricatings and colors due to its great commercial importance petroleum the black liquid is called black gold now we'll continue with question number 8 that is write two points of differences so first difference is between coal and coke so coal is hard as stone and black in color coke is tough porous and black substance coal is made from dead vegetation millions of years ago and coke is made from reaction on coal now the second difference between lpg and cng uh, the petroleum gas which has been liquefied under pressure is known as lpg and natural gas which is stored under high pressure is called cng lpg is the most important fuel used in homes and vehicles and cng is used as a fuel for transport vehicles it can be supplied through pipes as fuel now we'll continue with question number 9 that is match the following first one sunlight it's option number b in inexhaustible natural resource second fossil fuel it's option number d exhaustible natural resource third coke it's option number a hard porous fuel and fourth cng it's option number e cleaner fuel now we'll continue with the activity so the activity is make a list of various materials used by us in daily life and classify them into natural and man made substances so the natural substances are air sunlight clay water petroleum natural gas coal trees fruits vegetables natural fibers minerals etc and man made substances are plastic synthetic fibers rubber petroleum products recreational tools vehicles soap perfumes household goods etc and here we come to the end of chapter number 5 that is coal and petroleum i hope you have understood the complete chapter if you have any doubts you can write in the comments section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you